Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I, see, so, I've been thinking about this. Wait, but I just started the intro. I know, I've been thinking about this. Oh, You're Lord. the one who always says, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. And I'm annoyed at how flat your energy is. No, I do it with a really clever accent. You, <laughs> I think I should say, welcome to the Whiskey All Vault. Alright, you do it. Now it's too much pressure. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault, and we have a gift, but first, live stream is this Friday the 22nd at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the list of whiskeys we will be tasting if you want to join. Ardbeg, Ardbeg Ugdal. Yes. Brooklyn Lobby. Yes. Lagavulin 16. Yes. Lafroy Quarter Cask. Oh, keep going. Oben 14. Oh. So these are the these uh, crowdsourced, chosen by you guys as the top five whiskeys for advanced whiskey drinkers. They all happen to be uh, scotch. And uh, yeah, they're complex, but if you uh, don't want some scotch and you want to hang out with us, you don't have to drink these at all, by the way. But if you want to taste along with us, then the honorable mention was Angel's Envy Bourbon, because he forgot. No, I was about to say Angel's Envy. You didn't pause just, long you know, enough. It's like, dude, there's a, there's a pace. There's a I'm rhythm. patient. You got to keep the energy up. They have things that are distracting them, Daniel. I was thinking about what's in my right hand. It was a gift from Jose McKenna and Anthony Palomino. Wait, wait. Jose McKenna and Anthony Palomino, you magnificent bastards. <laughs> and they sent us a holiday tube sock. Hey. <laughs> Santa likes tube socks too. Do, do you should you open this? Here, I'll get the words out. And you get the whiskey out. You get it. Oh look! I think I know what this is. We got coasters. Del Bach. Hamilton Distillers. You remember this? We did the smoked Del Bach. Yeah, there was, was this mesquite, mesquite smoked, thing. Yeah. Mesquite thing, yeah, yeah. Hey look, there's for our glasses. Okay. okay. Get yourself a whiskey, son. I like this coaster. You know what? That'll take a laser really nicely. Yeah. Santa, uh, otherwise known as Jose McKenna and Anthony Palomino, sent us a gift. Ooh, winter release. Nope, doesn't work. Del Bach. Didn't fit on my head. All right, you got a fat head. Yeah, that's what. It, that's why. So what's what makes this a limited edition? Well, first look, holiday tube sock <laughs> with a Christmas tree. Oh, and a P.S. We need uh, to... Anthony is getting a smartphone so that he can get on Facebook and join the tribe hey. instead of his 2005 Razor Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of. Whiskey Tribe, Yes. for uh, everybody that wants to hang out and talk whiskey uh, and uh, share some dank memes. <laughs> We're doing that on Facebook. Dank memes. Dank memes. Come on. You got to be hip and with it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> snap, snap, snap. Finger guns. Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Said the almost 40-year-old man. Yeah. Uh, 37's the new 24. All right, so he's been drinking forever. Anthony has been watching the show since the Henry McKenna review in the early days. Oh, yeah. Um, they bought JW Blue as a fancy whiskey for them to enjoy on New Year's Eve. That is quite the letter. On and on and on. Sadly, number blah, one. blah, 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 yeah. rock gut. Yeah, number one mooch. Um, even before we liked the Eagle, the Spirit Eagle, never wanted to turn down a free drink. Anthony has become so enthralled with the Mooch character, he threw a fit when I tried to move because my house is on his way home. And when I was moving, it's five minutes in the opposite direction. So he even called the landlord to sabotage my renting history. We both laugh about it now. But we were wondering, what level of Mooch is that? Wait, alright, so apparently I've been given for just handing out ratings all willy-nilly. Yeah, that's true. Is it Mike, Michael? Yeah, Michael did not like that you're just... <laughs> so, As Michael... the master mooch extraordinaire. So, on whiskeytribe.com, on the resources tab, Michael has gone through the trouble of watching every freaking episode, yeah. which I haven't even seen. And uh, he created a mooch chart for you to determine what level mooch. So, what what level of mooch, if you try to sabotage Dude, your buddy's moving history... That's brutal as Keep yeah. him from moving. That's like 300. Because he's on your way home. 329 immediately. Dude, just smell that, that cork. Is, that is ruthless mooching. <laughs> wow, that is mesquite, man. This is right. So we get a lot of mesquite smoked barbecue here in Texas. Yep. This is mesquite smoked barbecue. Dude, this is serious. 
Uh, this is their first ever winter edition release, December 2nd, and these guys sent us this. That's awesome. Viable once a year. 390 bottles only. It's as Holy unique, crap, dude. unique and, fle and fleeting as it is savory. I believe it's savory. Different casks and finishes are blended together. Solely by taste. Yielding a one of a kind. Yeah. You just got the same shit I did on the back. Yeah. All right. So they like the smokier El Dorado, which we have, mm -hmm. right? So they wanted to make this similar to that for the first round. They raised it from 90 to 100 proof. So a few episodes ago, you and I were talking about different smoking options for whiskey, and we mentioned mesquite. There is, is you know, some uh, wood smoking options. Yeah, Cole Kagan does that. They do mesquite? Yeah. Cole Kagan, but I don't. I haven't been able to find a bottle since our first one we emptied. No one in the area has it. I'm Man. gonna have to try to contact the distillery to get one. Okay. And I, they, I don't know how they're gonna get it to me. Dude, this is far more mesquite than it is whiskey. Whoa. Whoa! Whoo! Yeah, this is like drinking liquid smoke. Let's compare it to the classic. Man! El Dorado. Or Dorado. That is not going away either. Yeah, it just keeps hanging in there. Man. Whoo! Now, if you like mesquite, You're gonna you, love it. you will adore this. For me, this is almost like a, a, a syrupy mesquite extract. And I'm struggling to get anything beyond mesquite smoke and um, some caramel sweetness on top of it. But Dude, the I smoke. Think what we have is the unsmoked variation. The smoke is just a pear that clang, man. Good lord. I found it! I really need new shelves. Because this is starting to get annoying. Not being able to find a whiskey. Man, here is the classic. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. This is liquid smoke that you buy on the grocery store shelf. But it's a wild ride, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. If you want something to toss you around the room. Treat you naughty. Oh my goodness. I'm getting spankings. Woo, man. It's making me hungry for barbecue. <laughs> so, coming off the heels of the winter release, ah. This is like the difference between Glen Roths and Lafroig. <laughs> well, and I remember this Del Bach being pretty damn mesquite smoky. Yeah, me too. But, until... but coming off the heels of the winter release, I'm getting, you know, just the tiniest hint of that mesquite now because, man. Whew. Yeah, this is a what's serious. The, what's the al alcohol percentage on that? 50. 50. They raised it. This is lower. Let's add some water. To, oh. This is kicking my ass right now. You think water's going to help? Well, I don't I think know. it'll take your damn head off. We'll find out, won't we? All right. I so this is not a relaxing whiskey. No. This is getting people crowded around the bottle and going, "Whoo! Oh damn! Ah, uh, try this! Whoa! <laughs> this is sneaking it on unsuspecting newcomers. Hey, try that. You think you like? <laughs> you think you like whiskey? <laughs> Maybe a little. You don't know from whiskey. Oh, I tamed it. That helped. Yeah. No, it didn't, didn't quite take it down to this one. No, it didn't. But we, compared to the amount of whiskey I this had This one is much better. This one is more nuanced, subtle. This is better. Compared to the amount of whiskey I had left in here, mm -hmm. you added a cap full, and it was mm -hmm. probably quite a bit of water. Yeah. All right. Man, so. I think I can't do it anymore. Really? <laughs> yeah. I you can, can have it, man. I can do it. I want the, I want the original. I can do it. You know See, there's what? butterscotch in the original. You know why I can do it? Because you're a mooch? Because I'm better than you. Oh. Like looking or like morally? All of the above. Nah. It's got to be one or the other. Name you it. You can't have it all. Name a category. Uh, shortness. Yes. <laughs> Name another one. <laughs> I said shortness. Yes. You're not better than I'm me. I'm shorter than you. I'm taller than you. <laughs> I'm more svelte than you. Svelte. I'm, I'm, be I'm beefier <laughs> and, more, and more muscular more than svelte. you. svelte. <laughs> all right, I gotta do some chat roulette because I threw away all the com. You did all the comments yesterday. Oh god, it's Daniel's advent calendar thing. <laughs> Which is, if you haven't picked up on it, it's basically like uh, masterpiece theater. Hello, welcome to the whiskey advent calendar. I'm Vincent Price. Uh, man, <laughs> they're the wrong episode. Everybody's talking about pound cake in this. I thing. know they really I'm are. Gonna, pound gonna, cake became a theme. I'm gonna go back a week ago. 
Sorry, guys. Son of a... All right. So. Uh, I can pull up that over here. It'll be easy. No, I got this. Shut the, shut right. the hell up. You shut the hell up. Ergo Proxy, would you guys consider doing a video in which the two of you detail your personal favorite whiskeys as of right now? Let's say the top three or four whiskeys mm -hmm. each. Also, I would like to express my enjoyment watching your channel because you guys are wonderful. You're good, sir. Uh, yeah, you're would, would, would we be doing... You're uh, good looking, too. Would we be doing uh, willing to do a little bit of our favorite I don't whiskey? know. Maybe. It's hard to pick one when you have a 750 whiskey vault. Don't show off. I'm just saying, honestly, it's hard to pick one. I will pick yours in. I could have 40. I could easily go I will, any of those. I will fine. pick for you. All right. I'm, I'm good with that. Okay. So, yes, I will pick for me, and I will pick for you. And Daniel. a lot of people are over and over and over request that we do a blind tasting of something. So, for the record, Daniel, see what we think. For the record, Daniel said I could pick his whiskey. Yes. But that would be a good one. <laughs> I get veto power. <laughs> I get veto power. No, that was not established. Yep. I get veto for power. For the record, Daniel said I could choose his whiskey. <laughs> veto power! Nope. Uh, Draco Rogue 1218. Remember your whiskey video with the modern rogue? You mentioned smoked bourbon. Yeah. Uh, Kings would, County. Would you ever consider doing that in your distillery? Yes. Smoking corn before fermentation. Oh. <laughs> well, yes and no. So, yes, I would love to do that. Um, but it's going to be a like, long time before we distill our own. Yeah, we want to. Well, we want to. Definitely do some smoking experiments. Yeah, we will distill our own products, but we're going to focus mostly on blending when we open. Um, a lot like Compass Box. Until we get the bandwidth and the time to actually create our own stuff from scratch. Yeah. Right now, so, we just lack bandwidth. So, as we're getting prepared and geared up to create our own stuff from scratch, we're going to be blending some stuff, sourcing some stuff, collaborating with some, like, freaking amazing distilleries mm -hmm. immediately, which was astounding to us. But uh, the experiments we have going on are kind of wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And Absolutely. We're, we're excited to show you guys some stuff here. But, yes, distilling our own stuff as we get ready to basically wait patiently because we know one thing you can't cheat. Time. Time. So, in the meantime... We're doing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, experimentation with stuff that already exists to make sure that you guys can have some magnificence in your Glen Cairn as soon as possible. All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.